Question 12. A triangle is translated from position A to position B. This word translated has got nothing to do with the word translated in foreign languages, where you take a word in one language and change it into the word with the same meaning in a different language. That's not what we're doing here. Translating in maths is something that you do with shapes. And it basically means that you are sliding the shape in a certain direction across the grid. Now you can either slide the shape left or right and you can slide it up or down. So let's see what it says we've got to do. Complete this sentence. The triangle was moved blank squares to the right and blank squares down. Let's go back up here. Now the trick with this one is to pick a pair of corresponding corners on both shapes. By corresponding corners, I mean corners in the same position on both shapes. So if you're going to choose the top corner on triangle A, you need to also choose the top corner on triangle B. And all you simply do is count the squares from going from A to position B. Very important you get that the right way around. We're not going from B across and up to A. We're going from A across and down to B. So let's just count the number of squares on the grid. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squares to the right. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares down. So it looks like it's 6 to the right and 5 down. And that is all you need to put in the squares. So 6 squares to the right and 5 squares down. Now you might be thinking, well, what happens if I chose a different pair of corresponding corners? Again, corresponding corners mean it's in the same position. So if you chose this corner here in the right angle, you would need to choose this corner here that's also in the right angle. And again, it should be six squares to the right and five down. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six to the right. And one, two, three, four, five five squares down. So that also works six to the right and five down. Just for the sake of being complete, we'll do it with the only corner we haven't used. Well we haven't used the bottom right hand corner, which in both shapes is marked by the pink spot. So we're expecting to get six to the right and five down. So one, two, three, four, five, six to the right and one, two, three, four, five down gets us in exactly the same position. Therefore, that method works. doesn't matter which pair of corresponding corners you choose, as long as the pair of corners is in the same position on both shapes. The final answer is the triangle has moved six squares to the right and five squares down.